What's going on YouTube, Jason right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an A12 jailbreak on iOS 12.4 and iOS 12.2 and lower. Bound to own brings very good news to the scene. He said, quote, successfully got unsigned code execution method that I got working with Jake James implemented in the jailbreak. I can now arbitrarily execute unsigned binaries and run side loaded apps with expired certificates on A12 and A12X without a PAC bypass. He also said, quote, next step is remounting RootFS without PAC bypass or pointer authentication codes bypass and once that's done you know what comes next. So he brings very very good news for those of you having an A12 device and for those of you who are wondering whether you should update from iOS 12.3, 12.3.1 and so on to iOS 12.4 if you have an A12 device. He says quote for A12 and A12X users if you are on iOS 12.0 to 12.2 you should stay and if you're on iOS 12.3 to 12.3.1 update to iOS 12.4 which by the way is still signed to this moment. We have already got an unsigned code execution working without PAC bypass and we are working on more but it's still better to stay on a firmware with a possible PAC bypass. So for those of you who do not know the PAC is basically pointer authentication codes and is a security technique introduced by Apple in A12 and A12X devices which are basically the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR and the latest iPad Pros. So that's why there is no jailbreak for the moment for iOS 12 12.4 or 12.2 or 12.1.4 or even 12.1.3 on those devices and many people argue that the devices are the latest Apple devices and should be supported by a jailbreak faster than the older ones. Well that is unfortunately impossible because the older ones do not have pack or pointer authentication codes so they're easier to make a jailbreak for. Now for the A12 devices many of the researchers do not even have an A12 device for example I don't have one so we cannot develop for those devices and since these are Apple's latest devices for the moment there hasn't been enough research done. Now for those of you who do not know, Brennan Z posted a few PAC bypass methods which should work on iOS 12.2, 12.1.4 and even 12.1.3 and the Chimera jailbreak which does have a PAC bypass for iOS 12.0 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2 uses a PAC bypass created by Brennan Z. But unfortunately Brennan Z's method has been patched in 12.3, 12.3.1 and 12.4 so we cannot use it. However, apparently Pound to Own is working with Jake James to get something working without a PAC bypass, which would basically alleviate the need for a PAC bypass, which is actually hard to implement and of course hard to find. He already got unsigned binaries to run, which means that he might be even able to run SSH at this moment without a problem. Now he's currently working on remounting, so that's basically a very good challenge for him because if he is able to remount without the pack bypass, then the jailbreak is basically halfway done for the A12 devices. Now what I recommend is to basically follow Pound to Own's instructions and keep an eye on the releases tab in here for when Pound to Own releases A12 and A12X compatible bundles. So thank you for watching, I am Geosnow and till next time, peace out.